So I was gonna make a YouTube video talking about the first week of Halo Infinite's launch and how good or how bad it's going. But I feel like there's something else that we really need to talk about in the second week of Halo Infinite. So the second week of Halo Infinite brought this new fracture event. We're supposed to get some cool armor and all this stuff for this new event. And the way they executed this event is really sad compared to every other video game. We look at Fortnite events, they'll add a new game mode, They'll sometimes have a cutscene. Halo got a trailer on YouTube that didn't pop up in the game. I feel like it would be cooler if it popped up in the game. Just a little sprinkle of whatever. But like, they really dropped the ball on this event. If we go up here to the battle pass, we see our regular battle pass, we see the event, and then we see our challenges. Obviously, I'm level 5 in the event. I've started working on it today, and I've gotten pretty far. Uh, pretty far. I'm only level 5, and there are 30 levels. But let me show you how bad the contents in this battle pass is. So the first here, you get this little battle backdrop for your profile card thing all right that's cool whatever the next one you get a challenge swap which is weird but okay and then the next one is free 250 xp towards your main battle pass now i wouldn't really have a problem with this battle pass except this one part you only get seven challenges so that means you can only go up to level seven in the event battle pass all the things are free they're just not going to be here until february 1st if you look here there are three different weeks and throughout the week you get these challenges i've completed most of them i think i actually completed all of them wow okay no i, I have two more in my upcoming weekly challenges so i have two more challenges to do in this event battle pass and then i cannot progress through the battle pass anymore like the content and the customization in this game is incredible but the way they're delivering it to us is horrible so we get this little backdrop then we get a challenge swap then some xp and then we get this cool little samurai call calling card whatever then we finally get the armor core at level five level six we get a challenge swap and then level seven we get the xp grant that is all we're gonna get that's all we're gonna get for this first week we only get those first seven things now it sucks that we don't get to complete the battle pass as fast as we want to but let me show you what the battle pass has in it because it is absolutely absurd and ridiculous that they would even do this let's go back to the beginning we get a backdrop uh consumable consumable nameplate armor core consumable 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 emblem shoulder pad consumable consumable consume do you see the trend here do you understand the problem i hope you do because 343 obviously does not see the big problem here there is no content in this battle pass there's no content in this event at all level 10 you unlock your left shoulder level 15 you unlock your right shoulder level 20 you unlock one shader for one weapon 24 one shader one weapon 25 you finally get a cool helmet for the the armor core that you got six months ago not six months like two months ago 28 you get a horrible not even like cool looking battle rifle skin you get this little thing over it and then finally level 30 you get your little sword did you notice something was missing we don't get a single armor coating in the event at all so we're stuck with this little stink bug looking thing if you don't want to spend any money at all this is all you get right here this little nasty stink bug you, you could put this hcs winter thing on but all here says stay tuned for more details or available in the store now it's just not a fun way to execute this it's not a smart way to execute this maybe it is smart because they're getting a lot of money for it but the prices of these shaders and everything in the game literally everything in the game is not worth it even the main battle pass i would say is not worth ten dollars let's take a look at the shop here so we get this chon con mage armor set for 20 bucks you get this pretty cool stance you finally get an armor coating which doesn't even look that impressive it doesn't even look that cool you get this helmet you get this little face thing on the helmet and then you get a cool red visor i like that this chest piece is a joke these arms or whatever they're flary and flashy the knee pads again they're not that cool i don't think this is not worth my 20 dollars. i don't know who's spending 20 dollars on this maybe the employees themselves and they're not even making their money back on this shit but this is not worth 20 bucks let's check another thing in the battle pass this one on the hip you get two swords it looks pretty cool 15 dollars. you get these two little swords here you get this nameplate, which I honestly love with that background. That looks incredible. 
uh you get this armor emblem you get a weapon emblem and you get a vehicle emblem 15 bucks that's not horrible i would say that's maybe like a 10 dollar thing but 15 bucks is not horrible for that let's check out the shinobi wrap bundle we get the lilac steel for only the assault rifle we get weapon model so this is a weapon model yeah it's like a little compensator or something this little charm that's pretty cool and that background i love a lot but I don't know if this is worth $10. Knowing that the weapon coating only goes on one gun, I'm not fully bought out on this. And then we have the six gate loyalty. This is for $7. Uh, you get, uh, that is literally George's colors. That is George's colors. Noble loyalty for the Yorai. Wait a minute. If I go over to the Mark V B and I scroll over here, is that the same one? Is that the same exact one? Let me go back to the shop and look at it. It is the same exact one. The customization in this game in the battle pass is an absolute joke. These shoulders, uh, they're okay. I mean, I, I would like them probably a little bit bigger, but they're fine for what they are. Uh, and this, the main thing you're buying in this is the coating, which is $7. And I'm not really sure if I want to spend seven full dollars on this. I get it. It's $7. Who cares? But still, the pricing and the item that you get doesn't really match up i would love to spend ten dollars for my favorite esport team and get their load out with their weapon skin and their nameplate i would so rather spend the ten dollars on this than i would spend the ten dollars on this some very questionable decisions by 343 i really thought they were going to go out of the box with this game but it looks like a very standard boring progression system it's kind of like the very early levels of halo reach but you actually have to spend your money on the stuff to get it there, there's a lot of things financially that i don't agree with what they're doing in the shop and with the battle pass and the events i really just hope that they get their shit together because i love playing this game i absolutely love playing this game this game is fun to play competitively it's fun to play casually the new Fiesta mode is a lot of fun. If you haven't had a chance to go play that, go play that now. It's pretty fun. You also get your challenges towards your uh, towards your event battle pass done. But the lackluster of content in this game is disheartening. I've been looking forward to this game for almost three years now. And every time there's a leak, I get r really excited because the armor looks really cool. Like, how much are those cat ears that got leaked going to be? Are those going to be $20 for cat ears? If so, I'm not going to buy it. Like, in the event battle pass, out of the seven challenges I do this week, only three of them affect me cosmetically. And of those three, only one of them affect me the way I look in the game, which is cool. It's this is somewhat out of the box thinking for Halo and 343. But compared to what they did in season eight of the Master Chief collection, this is weak. This does not compare to what they did at all. Whenever they announced season eight rewards for Master Chief collection and we saw those armors, we got excited. We were ecstatic. And then whenever we finally got to play with them in the game, it was cool for a couple weeks, mainly because we were tired of playing the Master Chief Collection, although they did look really cool. And this does not even look cool as the stuff in a 14 year old game that is still being built on. It's really sad. In this event, they should have just merged all the consumables into the same tiers with the cosmetic changes instead of making them their own individual tier. That does not make any sense to me at all. I thought these Halo Infinite Battle Passes were going to be insane compared to Warzone and Fortnite and whatever else is out there. But this is the weakest Battle Pass in gaming right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cosmetic items out of 30 tiers. Wouldn't it make sense that there's more content within the tiers than there are the number of tiers? For example, if this battle pass is going to be 30 tiers long, we should have maybe 40 items that we could put on our characters or our Spartan IDs or anything. I don't know, man. This whole thing was a big disappointment and I would call it a cash grab, but honestly, these items that they're wanting money for do not entice me. They don't grab my eye. The Chon Mage $20 whatever thing really grabs my eye. It looks really cool and it looks badass and I would love to rock that in game. I would totally buy that. This is not worth my $20. And if you want me to buy it, I will. Thanks to our sponsor. Our sponsor is me. It's me. I'm I'm the sponsor. I recently switched off of Twitch and came over to YouTube to do content full time over here. And I would love to push out content faster and faster for you guys. But honestly, this little PC down here is struggling. Well, whatever, fatty. Go get a job. 
you got me. But if you do want to support this channel directly, here's a few ways out. You can subscribe to the channel. You could like this video. You could share this video with a friend. I have a link in my description where I sell t-shirts like this. There's another link down there that I sell mouse pads that look like this. And then I also have a Patreon down there at the very bottom of the description. If you support me there, not only will you see this content earlier, but you will also be featured at the very end of the video in the credits. I feel it's only right that if you support me, I show my appreciation to you. I really hope the future updates are a whole lot better than this one. Maybe soon we'll get something in the store that's cool and worth my money. Let me know what you think about these Halo Infinite Battle Passes and these shop items and the way they're pushing out content. Some of the content is bad, but overall I love the content in this game. It looks incredible, the cosmetics, all that stuff. But the way they're giving it to us just doesn't feel right. So leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and then check out my next video where I talk about the console wars and who actually won it. <laughs> Bread, 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 bread,